Russians are coming! The Russians are coming! The Russians have landed. This whole dang island's under attack by Russians. <laughs> When I think about the greatness of Russia, I think about three items, vodka, literature, and chess. Fortunately, we've invited three actual real live Russians to come talk to us today about these elements and to give us insights into the greatness of their country. My name is Irina Kozlova. It's, it's funny, right? It's a joke because it means Kozlova means female goat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, Misha Blumen. And I'm Maria Andrea, and I'm happy to join you today. Here's a quote from the Grand Prince Vladimir of Russia in the 10th century. Drinking is the joy of Russia. We cannot do without it. Known as the water of life, it was said to be invented by a monk in Moscow, actually, named Isidore. Russian, on average, drinks 20, 20 liters. God, do you realize how much that is? It's like a couple hundred vats of this. Okay, have any of you ever made vodka at home? Yes, as a kid, we did it in the backyard so nobody can see it. We had a little material cloth from which it dripped into the glass container. It was and good? it smelled very funny. It was good vodka? And we tasted it because it was warm and then we were passed out. Anton Chekhov always said that his plays were comedies, like The Seagull or The Cherry Orchard. He described The Cherry Orchard this way, it's not a drama at all, it's a comedy, in places a farce. The director of these plays, Stanislavski, said, I cried like a woman. For the ordinary person, this is a tragedy. He goes to the door, he tries the handle. Locked. They have gone. <sighs> They've forgotten me. Oh, I'll lie down a while. There's no strength left in you. Nothing's left. Nothing. <laughs> you. Nincompoop. <laughs> they say if you understand a country's humor, you can understand the people. Oh, you have no sense of humor. None whatsoever. Not a grain of humor in you. There's not a laugh in you. Everybody else laughs at it, but not you. <laughs> in line of our quest for Russian humor, we looked up funnies from Russian newspapers our panel of Russians is going to explain why these are funny. So, каждому своё, to each his own. What do you see? That there is no choice. The choice is the same. So you think you're making a choice, but there's no choice. Everybody, just go kill yourself. I see it as the fish can live in the water perfectly, but when it's taken out of water, it will be dead. Yes. yes. I, get a I can see fish? them even doing <laughs> flying fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We have a flying fish, no? It's a bad. suicidal fish. Suicidal fish is funny. I like it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they're drinking vodka, yeah. but they chopped the tree already. Do you see this? We don't know. We are not local. He's a hippie. And he's asking him why the, is the earth is round? Why is he asking that? Yeah. It's a hot topic right now. <laughs> Chess involves the management of one's emotions, and in this area, the Russians reign supreme. The Russians are clearly beating us in chess. 43% of their population plays the game, 10% of ours. We're playing football, where you just bash yourself in to another person. Or in the weekends, in the parks, the grandfathers they with the grandkids, yeah. dotted all over benches with the chest. That's the Such only time I saw my grandpa. He loved doing double attacks. So he would always, he would, anytime there was an opportunity to set up a double attack, he would. What um, is this? It's when you move two of your pawns up uh, center, and so you attack the center because when they try to come at you in the middle, 
you now have them trapped on both sides. Like Putin. Wow, smart. It's, it's also known as the Putinator. That's Some right. people are call that they're calling it that. Really? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's a new, you know, it's, it's hip. The key to chess is to paralyze your opponent. Well, we've seen plenty of that. Make your opponent squirm. Don't play the game that goes against your natural instincts. You have to know who you are. Americans are obsessed with knowing themselves in a personal sense. You know, you look at all the self-help books. But knowing yourself in a national sense is quite another matter. How, what your country has made you. Have you ever visited Lenin's tomb? It's amazed me to see this long line. And then I said, mm -mm. Mm. I better go get a cappuccino, espresso, <laughs> meet my friends and have some fun. What the <coughs> heck is that? Did you know the Russians spend $200,000 per year to keep the man looking just as he did on the day he died, January 21, 1924? They just asked Putin the other day if, if they shouldn't get rid of Lenin, and he said, no, we're keeping him just the way he is. 200000 a year. But someone stole his foot. So, I wonder where the foot is. Uh-oh. Where rats, is the foot? The rats ate it. And stole the foot? They, they stole the foot. The sta of the statue. Of the, no, it's not the statue. The actual foot. The actual, ah, maybe somebody actual wants for foot. the DNA. They got the researchers wanted to see his Oh, and yeah. they're going to re that's regenerate crazy. a new Lenin. Oh. Clone him. Oh, they that's will clone. right. Like oh. oh, my God. Didn't think about it, but it makes sense. That's possible. It's probably born already. Russians are ahead of cloning and all that. There's a convergence of things in Russian life that are utterly baffling. Though while we here at Trailing Edge are extremely fond of extraterrestrials, no one is fonder or more interested in them than the Russians. We will leave you all with a recent headline. World chess president claims he was abducted by space aliens and they invented chess. Grand Prince, <laughs> Prince. Grand Prince Vladimir in, in the 10th century. Grand Prince. <laughs> Here's a quote from the Grand Here's a quote from the Grand Prince, here's a quote from the Grand, <laughs> Grand Prince, here's a quote from the Grand Prince Vladimir of Russia in the 10th century. Do I do it one more time? 